Hey Valerie, I just opened my lunchbox and I realized something. It's not the usual food my mom cooks for me every day, is it? What is going on? Can you explain this to me? Oh honey, I forgot to tell you. Mom called me yesterday to say that she had been having back pain, so she had to go to the doctor. That's why she wasn't able to make your lunch for today. If this is not what mom packed for me in my lunchbox, then what is it? It looks like a total mess and I'm not even making things up. The chicken is almost charred, the tomatoes are unwillingly chopped, and the sauce is all over the place. I could tell that this wasn't my mom's cooking from a single look. My mother never cooks this kind of dish. Especially not something as awful as this. Honey, what are you saying? Are you looking at someone else's food? I think my food looks okay. I mean, it may not be Michelin starred, of course, but it's still well cooked and presented. And wait until you have a taste of it. I guarantee you'll be mind blown and wanting more. What? You call this catastrophe well presented? Honestly, it looks far worse than a Jackson Pollock painting. Judging by the presentation, a bit horse food even tastes better than this. Gosh, it's so gross that I want to throw up just by looking at it. Cooper, what are you talking about? You're hurting my feelings. I woke up early, prepared all the ingredients, and put a lot of effort into making you lunch. And you just disregarded all my effort like that. What is wrong with you, really? What is wrong with me? I was about to ask... What's the matter with you? Why didn't you tell me in advance that my mom couldn't make lunch for me today? I could have eaten at the company cafeteria instead of bringing this garbage with me. Garbage? How could you make such a terrible comment about my dish? I know for a fact that I put in just as much time and effort as your mom did making your lunch every day, and I don't deserve to be treated this way. Honestly, Cooper, how come you never want to try my cooking? You don't even bother to taste a tiny bit of my food. If you give my food a chance, I'm sure that you'll like it just as much as your mom's food. What? You're telling me to eat this thing? It literally looks like it was made by a depressed five-year-old. Tell me the truth, Valerie. Did you drop my lunchbox off at a cliff? Or you ran it over with your car? Because it looked like it's been through a war zone. Cooper, please stop mocking my food. I'm really not feeling good about it. Your words really made me feel unappreciated. Seriously? Any human being would be well aware that insulting someone's cooking is extraordinarily rude. Come on, Valerie. Don't be serious and grumpy like an old hag. You're ruining the fun. You know what? I thought I would just toss everything in the trash can, but I have another better idea. Hold on. Let me take a picture of this culinary masterpiece so I can post it on my Facebook wall. What? What are you up to, Cooper? I told you, I'm not in a good mood to hear you taunting my food. You should really quit messing around with me because I don't know if I could maintain my composure any longer. Oh, please, Valerie. Can you just leave me in peace for a moment? I'm trying to think here. What should I write in the description for the photo? Hmm, let's see. Maybe this is what you get when your wife is half asleep but decides to make lunch for you anyway. Wait, I got one better. How to cook while being blindfolded and using only your legs. <laughs> LOL. I'm laughing so hard that I can nearly fall off my chair. That's it. I'm done with you, Cooper. Just do what you want because I've had enough. Every single day, you would come home and ask if your mom sent you a meal. Whenever I try to offer you to taste any of the food I cook, you would lay in bed and say that you're full. Are you even aware that most of the food got wasted because of you? I thought the situation would change after our marriage, but it's been one year and you still hold on to your prejudice against my food. Serve you right. I didn't even ask you to cook for me. You just brought it on yourself. And now you're here complaining that I don't appreciate your food? Honestly, how much ignorant can you get? I can't believe you're so ungrateful for all the work I do in the kitchen. Tell me, why do you always have to find something wrong with my food? Simple, because your food sucks. Seriously, I don't want to say this f out loud, but you're forcing me to. Look, I know you're a terrible cook. And I'm not even going to pretend that I'm not blaming you for that. I know that women are supposed to cook, but you're clearly not up to the task. It's a good thing that my mom sends me food every day, or else I'd be starving to death by now. What? I've never had anyone complain about my cooking before. 
I've cooked for my family and friends many times and they've always seemed to enjoy it. In fact, they've often asked for seconds or thirds. I even have people asking me for my recipes. Please, Valerie, don't tell me you actually believe in what they said. I say either they have agusia or they must didn't want to make you sad. So here, what I'm saying, stay out of the kitchen and let my mom do the cooking. I don't care you're offended. I don't care you think I'm sexist. I just don't want to eat your terrible cooking anymore. I know it's not fair, but it's the only way I can guarantee that we'll have edible food to eat. So please, for the love of God, just stay out of the kitchen. You know what? This is just unbearable. You're so stubborn and obsessed with your mom's food. It's ridiculous. That's why you can't see that there's better food out there. Yeah, now you know that. So please, do as I said and let my mom take care of the cooking. You can still cook for yourself if you wish, but honestly, I can't imagine how you can stand to eat that slop. Seriously, I'm still traumatized by the lunch you made for me. It's so disgusting. Even a garbage disposal would turn it away. I'm not trying to criticize your food or anything, but it is what it is. Valerie, I think I know who prepared my lunchbox, but I just want to double check. Was it my mom? I don't know. You tell me. I'm not the food police. So now you're acting up on me just because of some silly jokes I made about your food yesterday, huh? Come on, you're all grown up, not a crybaby. Besides, I can tell that my mom cooked this dish, even without you telling me. Of course, how can I mistake the food that my mom makes with anyone else's food? The sell of this dish is just like a warm hug from my mom. Yeah, congratulations with that virtuoso talent of yours. You should be joining some kind of competition like Mom's Cooking, a Blind Taste Test, or Mom's Kitchen versus the World. I'm sure you'll come out as the winner if they ever hosted some kind of game show like that. <laughs> Honestly, your joke is just as bland and boring as the food you cook. But anyways, I know I said this a million times, even during my groom's speech at your wedding. But man, I can refrain myself from saying it again. The food I'm looking at in my lunchbox right now is hands down the most beautifully presented food I've ever seen since my entire existence. Well, just as I expected. I mean, the colors and textures of my food are perfectly complemented by each other. My mom really knows how to make a meal look appetizing. I'm really lost in words, for this brought tears of happiness to my eyes. Gosh! Keep those exaggerated words to yourself. You don't have to text me all that, because I literally don't have any interest in knowing about it. You know what? I devoured my lunch in under five minutes. My mom made me six sandwiches, but I could have eaten twice that much. It's a shame. I wish mom had me some more. It's just a couple of sandwiches with classic fillings of turkey, lettuce, and tomato. Seriously, a five-year-old kid can make that in just a few minutes. Don't make it seem like you just ate something that came out of Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. What? Exaggerated? What are you even saying? I'm talking from the bottom of my heart. Wait, I know. You're just being jealous and bitter because you know your food can't compare to my mom's. My mom could make food with only one hand while watching TV and it still tasted 100 times better than yours. Yeah, I don't even bother arguing with you. So just continue talking to a brick wall. Seriously, you don't know how many times I encourage my mom to participate in cooking competitions like Master Chef or Top Chef, but she always said no to the idea. I truly feel like her cooking talent is being wasted. Moms are a little too shy sometimes. You know that, and that's why one of the things I love about her. Yeah, I can understand why she refuses to join cooking competitions. It's because her cooking skills are simply not good enough. That's all. And by the way, what you just ate isn't your mom's food. It's actually what I made with my own hand and from scratch. What? Are you serious? Yep. Why would I lie to you? How dare you play me like that? You basically tricked me into eating food that I had no idea where it came from. Did you put poison in it? Are you trying to murder me? What do you mean you had no idea where the food came from? I made it myself and no, I didn't put poison in it. Where did you get that twisted idea from? Honestly, you liked it and admitted that it was good. So what's the big deal here? I seriously can't understand you. 
I only complimented the food because I thought it was my mom's cooking. I didn't even know that you cooked it. No wonder I sensed something strange in the very beginning, but I was hesitant to say it out loud. I mean, now that I think about it, the bread was soggy and the meat was definitely not to my taste. Overall, I regret having eaten it. You shouldn't have done this to me. You won't know how boiling mad I am right now because of your reckless action. Just as I thought from the beginning, you finally show your true colors after my simple test. Your discrimination against my food is as clear as daylight. Don't deny it anymore. Test? You mean your childish trickery? Prepare yourself. We'll have a face-to-face -face conversation when I'm at home. Fine. Then I demand a divorce. I'm done wasting my breath with the kind of person like you. Valerie, seriously? Are you still mad at me? I said sorry to you. What else do you want? You think that's an apology? You just sent me a simple text message. You don't even have the guts to look me in the eye and say it. Come on, we're husband and wife, not strangers. Don't be so formal. Why don't you just be more relaxed and accept my apology as it is? Don't be too harsh on me like this. Besides, mom called me and she wanted to make amends with you by inviting you over to her house and having dinner. It'll be fun, don't you think? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. My mom insisted that you come with us, so you'd better not say no. And what if I say no? Please, Valerie, you seriously want to to make my mom sad by refusing to come over? She promised that you would make beef steak served with potatoes. If I remember it correctly, it's your all-time favorite dish, correct? Come on, Valerie. Mom just wants things between you and me to work out. Oh, so you're still mindful about my eating habits? I thought you stopped caring about me a long time ago. Valerie, honey, what are you saying? Of course I know what your eating habits and many other things. So are you coming with me to my mom's house for dinner tomorrow night? I promise every misunderstanding between us will be completely solved once we sit at the table and have a little fun, light-hearted conversation. Well, okay. I'll give you another chance then, but don't mess it up again. No, I won't. You have my word, sweetheart. Seriously, Valerie? What was your attitude? Why did you act up on me and my mom? We didn't do anything wrong to you. How could you be so careless? My mom spent hours cooking that food and you just dropped it on the floor and wasted it all. What are you saying? I told you it was just an accident. I didn't mean to drop my plate. Valerie, seriously, the dinner was supposed to be fun and cozy and all that, but you ruined everything. Do you know that my mom is sitting next to me and crying because of you? You made her so upset that now she refuses to go to bed and she's already one hour late for bedtime. We invited you for dinner with a good intention. I even thought by accepting the invite, you already agreed to make peace with me and my mom. But no, you plan to ruin the dinner out of your selfish and jealousy. I know you're always jealous of my mom. You don't have to be so mean, you know? Are you cognizant of the words that are coming out of your mouth? Why should I be jealous of your mom? I don't quite get you. Well, simple, because you know that you'll never be able to cook half as good as she does. That's why you hold a grudge against my mom, and you would take every chance you can get to make my mom upset. Tell me, what I just said wasn't true. Not a single word you just told me was true. I said it over and over again. I don't care about your mom's cooking because it's terrible. And you, when I dropped the plate, you even had the nerve to tell me to pick it up from the ground and eat it. Seriously, what kind of person are you? Well, you should have done that because that would make my mom feel a lot better. But now, my mom is refusing to sleep. What are you gonna do about that? You should feel ashamed of yourself for leaving without even bothering to say a word of consolation to my mom. I'm not even coming home. So just lock the door and go to sleep. I'm staying here at my mom's house tonight. Okay, okay, I admit it. It's all my fault. Happy now? I apologize to you and your mom. Tell her that. So please just go home. I'm waiting for you. Wait, really? You're just gonna hold yourself accountable for what you did to my mom just like that? It seems like you have learned some valuable lessons, huh? Well, what can I say? I'm proud of you for realizing your mistake so quickly. Yeah, whatever, just go home. I know what I did was wrong to you and your mom. I'm not trying to do that anymore. 
Okay, I just told my mom that you apologized to her and she stopped crying now. I'm so relieved to see that smile on her face. So, I guess you should get going now. Wait for me, okay? Oops, I almost forgot. I wanted to do something to make it up to you and mom. So I just bought us three tickets to watch a cooking competition live. What do you say? Are you excited? Valerie, tell me what just happened. Why all of a sudden my mom became one of the contestants in the culinary contest? I thought you invited us to attend the competition as guests. Well, you were always hopping on about how great your mom is at cooking, am I correct? So I thought it'd be fun to put her skills to the test in a culinary competition. After all, it was a great chance for her to shine and showcase a true talent to the world, don't you think? Honestly, you should be thanking me for that. Thank you? You embarrassed my mom in front of thousands of people. You do realize that the contest is broadcasted on TV, right? How could you do that to my mom? Oh, come on now, Cooper. You already forgot about all your praises that you gave to your mom. You said that your mom's talent is unparalleled, that she should be joining a food competition or else her talent would be wasted. What I did was just simply fulfilling your wish. It's true. I said it, but I really have no idea what the judges said that her food is not good enough. That's simply not true at all. To make matters worse, they even ruthlessly threw her food right off the trash can. And you? They were showering you with compliments, saying that they've never tasted anything as good as you did. Seriously, there must have been something wrong with those people. They couldn't even differentiate between good and bad food. For goodness sake, Cooper, you should stop defending your mom in a totally irrational way like that. The judges are professional chefs that have years of experience in the field. So how can they make any mistake? Then, explain to me what happened. They shouldn't have treated my mom like that. I eat my mom's food. My whole life and I know for a fact that nothing can compare to her food. Wait a minute, did you bribe the judges? This is a famous cooking show, so how in the world could I bribe the judges? Please think twice before you say anything brainless like that. Did you realize how much emotional damage my mom had to go through after you... What you did to her? Go and say sorry to my mom immediately. Koopa, she should have just backed down when she found out about me registering for the contest on her behalf. No one forced her to compete. But after hearing that I was also going to join the competition, your mom decided to take the challenge anyway. It was all just because she wanted to prove that she was better than me at cooking. Don't think that I can't see through your mom's facade. What are you even talking about? My mom has nothing to hide. She's the realest and most kind-hearted person I've ever known in the entire world. As far as I know, she loves you just like her own biological daughter. What do you have to complain about my mom? Seriously. Yeah, then you must have forgotten why we had to move out of your mom's house in the first place. She always wanted to be the center of attention. She craves control and dominance. She always has something to criticize about everything I do, and she never let me cook anything for our family. To reflect on it, I think she didn't even want you to get married to anyone. That's it? It's impossible to talk reason into your head. We're getting divorced, Valerie. I'm done with you. You dare to hurt my mom's feelings, and you didn't feel any sorry for her. Divorce? You hit the nail on the head. That's exactly what I was gonna say to you. I have completed my part of the paperwork for the divorce. Please finish your part and we can file the papers with the clerk of the county court. Whoa, 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 wait, Valerie. Uh, I was just kidding. I didn't know that you would do it for real. <laughs> Did you seriously mean it, Valerie? Please say no, please. You bet I do. I mean, what in the world could prevent me from doing what I was wanting to do for a long time? You're the most inconsiderate ignorant and close-minded person I've ever met. Please do me a favor and get out of my life as soon as possible. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. No, please Valerie. It doesn't have to be like this. We can still fix this. Just g give me a chance. I swear I'm gonna do anything in my power to make it up to you. Please don't dub me. I seriously don't deserve this. Well, well, Koopa. I thought you would want this to happen. After all, you never take into consideration any of my effort to help us bond as a family. Instead, you choose to disregard everything I ever did and prioritize your mom instead. I'm tired of living under the same roof as you, Cooper. Just hurry up and sign the papers. I don't want to deal with a person like you any more. My marriage to Cooper didn't last long and I can't help but feel a little sad and regretful. But it wasn't my fault that the relationship ended. 
So why should I feel sorry at all? Cooper was shocked when I told him I wanted a divorce. He sent me countless messages begging for my forgiveness and trying to get back together with me. However, I had made up my mind. I was moving on with my life and I was severing all ties with Cooper and his mother. Unable to accept defeat from me, Cooper's mom entered numerous cooking competitions in a bid to redeem herself and prove her superiority. However, she was either rejected or her dishes were always met with harsh criticism. In an attempt to make his mom happy, Cooper bribed the judges of a cooking contest to help her advance to the next round. However, his actions were quickly discovered and the news quickly spread, tarnishing his and his mom's reputations. After divorcing Cooper, I feel like I have more control over my own life. I can finally cook what I wanted without being judged by his mom. I also made it to the finale and became the winner of the cooking contest that I co-joined with Cooper's mom. Honestly, I didn't expect it at all because I just intended to give Cooper and his mom a lesson. I know that this victory will give me a big boost for my future career as a professional chef.